Good afternoon, everybody. I would like to thank you and welcome you all for being here today to celebrate the passing or the end of my father's life. There are many persons in this world who do not know who their father is. They never got a chance to meet their father. Their father will either dead before they were born or abandon them before they got, even got to know him. My father, Henry Alexander, as he was known to many as Odo or Odo, was one of those. He never got a chance to meet his father, to spend time with his father, because his father died when he was at a young age. He was born on June 24th, 1948, and was one of 14 children to his mother. They were of the community of Tiroshe Miku. He was a hard-working man. Never always provided for his family. Never was a day when I was growing up that we had nothing to eat. He was always hard working. He was a carpenter by trade. He made the house that we grew up in and all the furniture that was in there. He also loved animals. And when he was not busy in the farm, he was tending to his animal or he was in his workshop. He had a very weird sense of humor. You would barely hear him laugh, but he had this smile, which was very contagious. He was a friend to all, joke with all, argue very little. During the last three years of his life, we talked about many things. Sometimes he would talk about that he's not gonna be around very soon, and I would ask him, are you ready? He would tell me, yes, I'm ready. I say, it's not just saying that you're ready, it's being ready. And he would tell me that I have made everything right with God. He always prayed for his children that God would protect them. During his last days, I spoke to him often and I asked him to hold on. I'll come visit when things get better. The virus is everywhere and it's making it difficult for us to travel. But after a year went by, I guess he got tired and he couldn't hold on anymore. It broke my heart to see him go, knowing that I would not be able to say, say goodbye. But I thank God for technology. I was able to see him and talk to him to the very end. I am so blessed to have had a father like you. Your thoughts throughout the years I not only got to know you, but I also loved and appreciate you as my father, my role model, my friend. As you taught us to love our siblings, we are going to make sure that we'll be a shoulder for each other to lean on. We'll make you proud by sticking together, being a family. I cannot believe that you are gone. I still got the urge to ask for you when I speak to my siblings. You are gone, but you will always be in my heart, always in my thoughts. No one will take your place in my heart. I cannot imagine coming back home and knowing that I'm not going to be seeing you. I'm not going to be able to talk to you and I'm not going to be able to touch you, rub your head like I used to. Dad, I know you were loved. You were tired. You worked hard all your life. And now you decided to take your rest. I will miss you very much. But I will not stop loving and thinking about you. Sleep, my angel. Till we meet again. I have the faith that we're going to walk on the streets of gold in Jesus' name. I love you, Dad. Rest, my angel. Rest. Hello, everyone. Um, I just want to say a few words 
um, since I can't be there to say goodbye to my grandfather. He was my grandfather, still is and always will be my grandfather. But most importantly, he was like a father to me. There is nothing in this world he wouldn't do for me. He spoiled me and made sure I was happy. He's the strongest man I know, a man with many talents and a man who's very well known and very much loved. I admire the fact that he always seemed happy. Of course he had his days, we all do, but he was always smiling. I will miss the way you would speak to me in Patwa, knowing I didn't understand. I will miss the roasted cashews and all the efforts you made to make me smile whenever I came to visit. My favorite memory of you is how you would carry me. You would take me home in the middle of the night during the rain just because I was a little spoiled brat, a little spoiled crybaby, but it didn't bother you. Anything to make me happy. I love you so much. And this isn't goodbye. It's I'll miss you till I see you again. I'm learning how to live in a new way since that day you were taken away. I'm learning how to live with the things left unsaid, knowing I got to say them with every tear I shed. I'm learning how to live by embracing the pain, knowing that you live on through the memories that remain. I am learning how to live knowing I will never see your face and I have peace knowing you're in a better place. I'm learning how to live knowing you're in God's hand. It gives me the strength to move on and makes the pain much easier to bear. I'm so hurt at the fact that I can't be there to see you. But I will forever carry you in my heart. I will forever love you and I will forever think of you. Going home will never be the same, but I know from now until we see each other, you'll be watching over me. And I know you love me and I hope you know that despite the distance, Despite the growing up, I will always, always love you. Thank you.
I'm sorry that I left you. I know you feel alone, but God told me that He needed me. He called me to come home. In what seemed to be an instant, in the twinkling of an eye, an angel gently took my hand and led me toward the sky. As I ascended into heaven, beyond the pearly gates, angels were rejoicing. Then I saw His radiant face. God's eyes shone down upon me from the glory of His throne. He said, "Enter into paradise." Cause heaven's now your home. I fought the fight. I finished the race. Throughout the trial, I kept my faith. No longer do I suffer. My body's been made whole. I'm flying with the angels, and heaven's now my home. God told me not to worry. He said you'd be okay, because eternity's forever, and we'll meet again someday. I fought the fight. I finished the race. Throughout the trial, I kept my faith. No longer do I suffer. My body's been made whole. I'm flying with the angels, and heaven's now my home. I'm flying with the angels. Heaven's now my When my way groweth drear, precious Lord lingered near. When my life is almost gone, hear my cry, hear my call, hold my hand, lest I fall. Take my hand, precious Lord, lead me home. Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on. Let me stand. I'm tired. I'm weak. I'm worn. Through the storm, through the night, lead me on to the light. Take my hand, precious Lord, lead me on. When the shadows appear and the night draweth near. And the day is past and gone. At the river I stand, guide my feet, O 
hold my hand, take my hand, precious Lord, lead me home. Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on. Let me stand. I'm tired. I'm weak. I'm worn. storm through the night lead me on to the light take my hand precious Lord lead me not go alone for part of us went with you the day God called you home God looked around his garden and he found an empty place then he looked down upon the earth and he saw your precious face he put his arms around and he lifted you to rest God's garden must be beautiful He always takes the best Yes, He always takes the best We knew that you were suffering We knew you were in pain We knew you'd never get well on this earth again so he closed your weary eyes and he whispered peace be thine then he took you up to heaven so gentle and so kind God looked around his garden and he found an empty place then he looked down upon the earth and he saw your precious face. He put his arms around you and he lifted you to rest. God's garden must be beautiful, he always takes the best. Oh, God's garden must be beautiful, he always the best The roses are pretty, the sun isn't quite as high, the birds don't sing as sweet of a lullaby, the stars seem a little bit faded, the clouds just a little more gray, and it feels like things won't ever be the same, heaven got another angel tonight. You left this world behind Heaven got a little better the day It took you away from me I'm missing you Dream of 
And oh, my soul, so weary. When troubles come, and my heart burden be, then I am still and wait here in the silence until you come and sit a while. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You raise me up to walk on stormy seas. I am strong when I am on 
your shoulders you raise me up to more than I can be And Florida Alexander and Florin Alexander. Before we begin our service, I would like to remind us of the protocols of the church and of the leaders. Please sanitize yourself, wash your hands upon entering the church. Please keep your mask on at all times and ensure that it is worn properly, that it is not caught by your nose.
Get forward. We will stand as we sing the hymn. 
until then. My heart can sing when I pause to remember. A heartache here is but a stepping stone. Along the trail that's winding always upward, this troubled world is not my final home. Let us keep standing and let us bow our heads for prayer. Our eternal God, the one who created the heavens and the earth, how great thou art. We thank you for your love. We thank you for the blessings of today. Oh Lord, we praise your name because you are so good. We ask for your blessing upon the family of the deceased. We ask, O oh God, that you will take control of the service here today. And help that your name will be uplifted and glorified, we pray, in Jesus' name. Amen. Please sit. You know, this occasion is never a nice one. It is one that brings tears, you know, pain and suffering. But the Bible has so many promises from God that one day death will pass away. And in Revelation chapter 21 verses 3 and 4 the Bible says, I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them, and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. On this note, I want, on behalf of the pastor, our church pastor, Pastor Vern Schalman, and the family of the deceased, welcome all of you here this afternoon. Thank you for your support, and may God bless you.
as we continue to celebrate the life of Mr. Henry Alexander, um, who is most affectionately known to all of us by Mr. Odol. I actually just got to know his name as he died as Mr. Henry Alexander. I always know him as Mr. Odol. So this afternoon we'll be referring him a lot to as Mr. Odol. As we continue to celebrate this life this afternoon, we shall listen to a special song by Sister Wendy Monroe's. Good afternoon, everyone, and permit me to extend my deepest condolences to the family, particularly Desra and Damiana. Life is easy when you are upon the mountain and you've got peace of mind. Like you've never known But things change When you're down in the valley Don't lose faith For you're never alone for the God of the mountain is still God in the valley. When things go wrong, he'll make them right. And the God of talk come so easy when life's at its best now it's down in the valleys of trials and temptations that's where your faith is really put to the test for the God of the mountain is still God in the valley when the things go wrong he'll make them right and the God just reminded brother odol's family 
that the God of the mountains is still God in the valley and the God of the day is still God in the night. This is your night right now. But let me assure you that when Christ comes the second time, it, he will be the God of the day because he's the God of the day and the God of the night. At this time, we are going to be listening to a few tributes. On your leaflet, you will recognize that you have the eulogy next, but we'll be doing the tributes followed by the eulogy. So we are calling on Jean-Claude Andrew, Kayla Constable, Dyson Alexander, Raisa Sami, and Zomari um, Claris. We would like you to please come on this side, and you'll be coming up in this order. Again, the order, Jean-Claude Andrew, Kayla Constable, Dyson Alexander, Raisa Sami, and Zomari Claris. It's today and I am without you. It's sun, it's rain, it's cloud, I am without you. It's hell, it's there, the only place and I will be without you. It's now, it's always, every day without you. us all to watch you suffer. God didn't want you to do it any longer because it's not something pleasant to see. Just set yourself free. I love you with all my heart, but for now, we will have to be apart. We had so many fun times together, so now set yourself free. I am young and have much to learn, but I know that eventually one day it will be my turn. Until then, memories of you will always remain. So please, Please, uncle, set yourself free. God saw he was getting tired and the cure was not to be. So he put his arms around him and whispered, come with me. With tearful eyes, we watched him suffer and saw him fade away. Although we love him dearly, we could not make him stay. A golden heart stopped beating, hard working hands to rest. God broke our hearts to prove to us he only takes the best. Although his heart stopped beating, his love will always remain. We just, uh, his absence puts upon our hearts a very heavy strain. For now he is in a place of everlasting rest. We just have to understand that God, he only takes the best. I wasn't ready for that last goodbye. There's so much more I never got to say. I miss you so much. I hope you know. I'll always remember you. I don't think I'll ever let go. I never really said a proper farewell. So now I'll tell you, although you cannot hear. I'll miss you always and goodbye. Till we meet on the other side. Good afternoon. 
Good afternoon. I can shot. Good afternoon, everybody, family and friends. We are family, and with God the Almighty, we will overcome. We are family, we will overcome. While grieving in our darkest hour, we now understand we cannot be paralyzed in despair because we have the Almighty, we will overcome. Heartbreak, dismay, and grief surrounds us. We now have been assured through the darkness there is a ray of light. Days ahead will be a tremendous challenge. We now accept and together with the Almighty God, we will forge ahead and conquer our griefs as one. Our loved one is no longer with us. We now know and we will cherish our fond memories and with love and laughter and to our tears and dark moments, we will not succumb because with God the Almighty, we will overcome. We are family, we will overcome. We will stand firmly and lovingly together and together we will have company to each other and we know it is what must be done. With the Almighty, we will overcome. And I heard in the other stories that God will whisper in our ears and he will take those that belong to him. So everyone must put themselves right with the Almighty because we cannot live a life free doing anything and think that we will go to him. So we have to prepare ourselves for when that day comes. We can see nowadays that it comes at any time. So prepare yourselves, my people, for when the Almighty comes because he only takes those that belong to him. So prepare yourself, and with him, we will overcome. We will now listen to the eulogy. We will now listen to the eulogy by Anya Alexander. Good afternoon, everyone. Henry Alexander, also known as Odo, and affectionately called Odo by his children, was born on June 24, 1948, to Matilda Alexander and Tifwe. He was the seventh of 14 children of his mother and the fourth of his father. When he was about 10 years old, after the passing of his father, he was sent to live with his grandmother, Ma Obe, who was blind. Like all kids, my uncle was very mischievous. As the need arose throughout the day, he had to serve his grandmother with her lit pipe filled with tobacco for her smoking enjoyment. One day, he did not carry out his rule, and his grandmother called and called for him, but he was nowhere around. When he finally returned, his grandmother asked him to come and do something for her. He went up to her, then she grabbed him and said to him, Mi se consa fum He went... And she asked him to take her to a tree to cut a whip to punish him. Smartly, he took his grandmother to a lime tree. As she held onto the tree to break her whip, the prickles pricked her, and, he, and she released him where he took his escape. At about age 22, Henry met with his wife to be Flory Andrew, and they had six children together. He wedded her in 1978 and had one addition to the family, Ditson Carvey Alexander. After the birth of his two first children, affectionately known as Titty Girl and Boy Boy, he gained employment on the Mabuya Valley Plantation, where he lived and returned home fortnightly to his family. Henry built a family house, then sold it and built another one on family land, where he lived permanently with his wife and seven children. His desire was to make his family as comfortable as possible, so he endeavored to construct a concrete house for his family. All family members work assiduously and look forward to the completion, which unfortunately never materialized, as they grew up and went their separate ways, and to date, his daughter Damiana inherited the structure where she has built her dream home. One of Odo's greatest attributes was that he was a hard worker. He worked as a farmer in Palmis on his own farm on the late Sir John Plantation, a baker, a carpenter, a joiner, seasoned woodcutter, and even, and even a fisherman at one time. 
His work ethic was, when asked to do a job, do it right the first time, no matter how long it takes. He impacted on the lives of many young men of the community by freely sharing his skills and knowledge in joinery with them. Although my uncle may have never said it out loud, I know that he was truly proud of his children and the way they all grew up. At age 66, he had his last child, Dighton Alexander, whom he loved unconditionally and raised single-handedly with, with the help of his daughter. It's rather unfortunate he, that he did not live to see Dighton grow up. Uncle showed his love right up until the last days with us by squeezing our hands when he could not utter a word to us. Though we wanted him to hear with us forever, we feel confident that he is at peace. We are filled with gratitude for every moment we got to spend with him. Thank you for being part of our lives. We are all going to miss you dearly. Rest in perfect peace, Uncle Odo. Thank you. Amen. We have another special tribute, and that tribute will be done in the form of a song, and it is called Peace in the Valley. It will be sung by Rufina Fanis, and it's Sister Damiana, his daughter, would like us to sing, would like her to sing that song as a special rendition. So it's for Sister Damiana, but she's actually singing it. Good afternoon, everyone. Oh, well, I'm tired and so weary, but I must journey on. Yeah, Lord comes and comes, calls me away. Oh, yes. Well, the morning is bright and the land is the light and the night night is as dark as the sea oh yes there will be peace in the valley one is day there will be peace in the valley for me Oh Lord, I pray there'll be no sadness, no sorrow, no troubles I'll see. But there will be peace, peace in the valley for me. Oh yes, oh well, the day will be gentle. And the world will be ten, and the line shall lay down, down by the land. Oh, yes, and the beast from the wild will be led by a child, and I'll be changed, changed from this creature, oh Lord, that I am. There will be peace in the valley for me one day. There will be peace in the valley for me. Oh Lord, I pray. There will be no sadness, no sorrow, no troubles I'll see. But there will be peace. This is the valley for me. Oh, yes. There will be peace. This is the valley for me someday. There will be peace in the valley for me. Oh, Lord, I pray. There be no sadness. No sorrow, no troubles I'll see. But there will be peace, peace in the valley 
one of your father's favorite songs. Sister Damiana, I know that you are watching virtually. I pray that you find that peace in the valley that only God can give. At this time, we are all reminded that Matthew 5, 4 says, Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. So we shall listen to our church pastor, Pastor Valen Shalmain, as he does the prayer of comfort for the family. And immediately after, he will proceed into the sermonette. From me to you, Pastor Shalmain. Sorry about that. I forgot I was scripture reading. Our scripture reading is taken from 1 Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 13 to 18, and it will be read. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13 to 18, and it's read by Raisa Sami. After Raisa, then you will listen to Pastor Shalmain. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the, tr the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we, then we which we are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so we shall ever be with the Lord, wherever comfort one another with these words. Thank you. Amen. Wherefore, well, comfort one another with these, with these words. Amen. Indeed, it's a privilege that I have to, to be here. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, I want to say on behalf of the Alexander family. I'd like to welcome all who are here and those who are viewing online. We are here to support the family in their moment of bereavement. And we are here to celebrate life. Amen? The legacy that he left behind. I know this man as a hard-working man always busy in his shop. So I want to say, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, that the family have lost a dad, a grandfather, a brother. It is one that, that is very difficult. It's never easy. And I want to say to you, family members, brother, sister, son, daughter, that it is therapeutic for you to cry. There are individuals who have held it back and they felt sick as a result. And I will say it in Creole, souvle plewe laje. Amen. 
pas de bébé parce que pas de monde qui a appelé parce que vous êtes major. Eh bien, vous êtes femme. Je pense que vous êtes madame. Sometimes we feel we are so strong and we destroy ourselves. So express yourself. And I want to say on behalf of the Seventh-day Adventist Church to express our sincere condolences to the family in their moment of bereavement. Those who mourn, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, they need our support. They need strength from us. They need love from us. They need the embrace from us. And it is at these times we know some individuals who have been so strong. It's during this time you realize that, yes, they are also human. Amen? But I won't want you to accustom to any of what the enemy have brought upon us. Death is an intruder. Death is never welcome. And I want to say to us, brothers and sisters, it doesn't matter how long someone had been sick. There is a sense of loss at the time of death. These days, death panic come out, ladies and gentlemen. Death panic jean, it panic large. Death come upon the old, it come upon the young, it come upon the middle age, it come upon the youth, brothers and sisters. It come upon the sick and also those who look so healthy. He doesn't choose. So, brothers and sisters, we are here today because of the death of a loved one. But it is at this time. For Proverbs, the wise man said that he rather go to the place of mourning than in the place where there is fete and celebration. He said during that moment of mourning, persons begin to do some introspection, begin to realize that yes, I will die one of these days if Jesus does not come soon enough. But I'm going to ask you a question. In the case of Jesus, we will all die one of these days. But I'm going to ask you a question. Even though we suffer pain at the moment of the death, death of a loved one. Yes, there is a, a real sense of loss at the death of a loved one. Yes, we all, even each one of us here, it doesn't matter whether we are old or young, we have had some experience with the death of a loved one, brothers and sisters. And to acknowledge at this time this love, this to acknowledge at this time this experience, to acknowledge at this time that we all one of these days will face death it is one that is real it is a time where we reflect on our own mortality that you and say Jerusalem kai more and that is where brothers and sisters you and I need to begin to contemplate on the life that we are living because see your Jew, and by the way, brothers and sisters, la mort pas ni l'air. Death does not have a particular time that it comes. Death don't give you warning. Praise the Lord for those individuals who have time know that yes, they are dying. Yonye ti mouman pou man de bon Dieu pardon. But brothers and sisters, we have always to be in a state of readiness because we never know when death will knock at our door. You see, persons laugh at this, this, this story they gave. It is not a true story, brothers and sisters, but it is one that brings out a message. A man, one of these days, brothers, one day, brothers and sisters, death came at his door. 
Des fois, nous passons dans le monde, nous connaissons pas parole à côté, nous dit les basiles qui passent à côté, qui passent à côté, qui deux, trois, quatre, même là. Ce basile, c'est une communauté. Et basile vient poser. So, L'esprit, la story a dit nous comme ça, qui Monsieur a fait la mort manger, il a fait de l'eau, et qui juste fait dormir. Et pas tant la mort a dormi, l'histoire, dit que c'est l'histoire, l'histoire dit comme ça. Dat ki, misye a pip an didan, liv, basil. E ki realize, dat ki basil te vini pou li, because he next an le list la. L'histoire di, i ti we noy, i fasi noy, an le list la, kote i te ya koumansman, ek mette jis an ba. Le basil leve, basil di, Mwen ka oui monsieur parce que ou te tellement bon pour moi ou ça ou te next dans les listes là mwen ka commencer mai commencer koto ya nay commencer from en bas monter il réalise il passe à escape basil oui il était bon pour basil faut excès les angelmen l'histoire ka ban nou story faut excès dat ki commission c'est ou pas ça qui est Basile Kavinek. By the way, ou pas ça jouer et puis l'amour. L'amour n'a pas qu'il vienne caillou et dit qu'il voulait manger, il faut que c'est. Il n'a pas dit qu'il voulait un sommeil. L'amour juste qu'il vienne et l'eau check out. And by the way, ou pas qu'il même check out parce que l'eau gone ou gone. C'est l'autre monde qui a check that you more. So we have, brothers and sisters, to be in a state of readiness at all times. Yes, it brings pain, brothers and sisters, and that is why, brothers and sisters, we should not keep the tear in. We should let it go because death is unnatural. Death is not welcome anywhere in the human race, but we sometimes allow him because of sin. Man was created to live forever. And that reality is coming back. I say hallelujah. Man was created to live forever. Brothers and sisters. But it is sin that brought sorrow. Sin brought death. Sin brought pain. Sin brought heartache, suffering, sickness and death today. But allow me to say to you ladies and gentlemen, I thank God for the gospel of Jesus Christ. For the apostle Paul said in Romans chapter 1 and verse 16, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Oh, no, no, no. I am not ashamed for it is the power of God unto everyone who believes. Now, it contextualizes it for excel. Because, si mou nan pa kwe, bon die pasa bay la vi. I think the last person who gave the tribute, uh, make a, a session to that brothers and sisters, C'est pi ou ka viv la vie a bay bon die pou lè la mort vini ou ka sa mort an die. Because sou pa mort die fwe ekse, kon scripture we di nan di nou kon sa, the dead in Christ shall rise first. We will come to that. But brothers and sisters, we know that sin brought death, sin brought sorrow, but Jesus brought life. Hallelujah. And this is why even after death, we have a hope in Jesus. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes. That is why the Apostle Paul could have said, I would not have you to cry. I would not have you to be ignorant concerning those who sleep in Christ. For our scripture reading says, but brethren concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, for if we believe, that Jesus died and rose again. Est-ce que ça aujourd'hui? Vous ça c'est vous ça nous ni espoir aujourd'hui à faire que c'est. This is why we have this hope today. If you believe that Jesus died, brothers and sisters, and he rose again, even them which sleep 
in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent those who are asleep. In other words, for except, Muna kisha mo an jesi kuya. Maka di an jesi kuya. Muna kisha mo an jesi kuya. Nu kika viv an jesi kuya. Nu pakai ale ava moun sala. Ni moun sala pakai ale ava nou. Jesi di konsa. All that are in the graves shall hear his voice. Now, 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 if I die and I ascend to heaven already, why would Jesus call me from the grave? So Jesus is expecting all who died in him to stay in the grave. And the psalmist says, I wait in the grave. But here is the thing, brothers and sisters. Jesus said, dead in Christ shall rise first. In other words, we who die in Christ shall rise before those who died and they did not die in Christ. Mm. What a trumpet shall sound. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. The question is, why first, brothers and sisters? Because there will be a second resurrection. Because tout monde ni pou lever pou point jugement yo. The Bible says it is appointed unto man once to die. In other words, nou tout ni appointment et puis la mort, mais nou ka mort yo foi et den jugement. So when Jesus come. The Bible says he's coming with his reward. He will be judging those who died and those who are alive even before his coming. So here, brothers and sisters, Revelation tells us, Blessed and holy is he that have part in the first resurrection on such the second death has no power. Allow me to say to you, La mort nous a mort jodi a poco la mort fwexe. L'évangile a coulé un sommeil. Et ça coûte mon frère Xen. Mais le jour qui a venu, côté la mort, c'est là, qui a venu, le second death, l'évangile a coulé, il a fait un l'enfer. Now, tout le monde fait l'enfer. Everybody want to go to heaven. Nobody want to die. Tout le monde veut un ciel. Mais frère Xen, il y a un bagage qui a noté, c'est pour nous. Regardless of qui sa bon Dieu a permité pour soukoué nous, pour tourner l'idée nous à l'aise, nous still ka vivre même côté à l'aise bon Dieu tire bagay la. Ta ou ka di a pasta. Ou nous tout sa bon Dieu ka kouye nous. Nous tout sa bon Dieu ka di nous faire un changement en la vie nous. Nous tout sa bon Dieu ka di nous comme ça. Si vous vivez dans moi, je suis moi, je suis venu et je suis sauvé. Mais nous, pourquoi nous avons fait? Mais nous savons nous supposer faire. Ou tu quoi? En chai moun la yo quoi yo ka mort, yo ka kouye pasta et ben pwet la. Hein? Because yo vlo pwe die yo en ciel. Mga de wanti ke choy, pies la pou ye pa ka men nou en ciel. Bon die ki ka sauve. Est-ce que vous te mou hodia? Bon die ki ka sauve, fou ek se. So here, the life you live, God is expecting you to live a holy life. That is why the Bible is saying the dead in Christ, for you to be able to be resurrected first, you have to die in Christ. And for you to die in Christ, you have to be living in Christ. Jesus said, without me, you can do nothing. I realize I'm going to go, right? I'm going to talk about it. Because for all, the decision is already made before I'm going to talk about the living. I'm going to talk about the living. The Evangelist has said this. In Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verses 5 and 6, for the living knows that they shall die. 
But the dead knows not anything, neither have they any more. A reward for the memory of them is forgotten, as their love and their hatred and their envy is now perished and forgotten. Neither have they any more a portion forever in anything under the sun. So if the living know that they shall die, and the dead knows not anything, Mama do anti question. Si Munaki Kavivla Sav in Ipumo Eme Kaimo yon jou Ek Munaki Hamoa Pa konet anye, pa mem lamitye Fou ek se, pa mem hetwel In other words, i ka dou kon sa Mem si Muna te ha you Even avay mo, ou sa vini Pwey, even a pwey mo because he passed up for anye. Gone are the days when people used to be afraid of the cemetery. Say, where is that? You know, more than you have to do with the But you are not more wise. The use of the cemetery is just a little bit more than you have to do with the cemetery. Let me ask you a question. I want to ask you a statement today. Si mouna ki ka viv la, sav i ka ymo. If the living knows that he shall die, and the dead knows not anything, then my other statement is fitting, brothers and sisters, be who God wants you to be while you are still alive. In other words, brothers and sisters, whoever God wants you to be, you have to be that person before you die, because no prayer will change that after you die. So this is where I am saying to you, our destiny, your destiny and my destiny is set before we die. So there is nothing like after death I go somewhere and after you pray for me I'll go a little higher. No, 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 no brothers and sisters. No, no, no. The day that you die, your very day, that very day, your thoughts perish. La pani an yi mwen sa fe ba ou anko expect or accept mwen resurrect tou. Yes, nou sa pwede pou resurrection. Yi sa fe. But se pou kwe. Amen. So here I say to you brothers and sisters. While you are still alive, be who God wants you to be. Come on, want to get joy? Buy my mouth flare like a vive. Buy papa flare like a vive. Et monsieur, garder après Yeshu, tant ou ça. Because après la mort, nous n'avons pas ça apprécié encore. So be who God wants you to be. Bring the flowers while the person is still alive. It is painful, brothers and sisters. There are instances, côté, Madame la Camarche, fig et bidlo coco. Et que les mots, je vais te dire à ma maman de casquette. L'agence a été besoin, elle a été à vivre, puis elle a été béni. Bénédiction a été béni, les mots ont été vivre toujours pour exercer. It is time that we have it the other way around. Nous avons mis sur la après um, quatre la fois que c'est. We have to put it where it's supposed to be. Après si les mouna les qui vivent, so that les mouns sont là qui vivent, ils sont mis dans la main en l'eau et puis bénis. Bénédiction maman fois que c'est, c'est un bail qui est bon. Bénédiction papa, c'est un bail qui est bon fois que c'est. So be who God wants you to be while you are still alive. And God will bless you. So even as I close, I say to you, brothers and sisters, regardless of the times that you are living in, 
a little kindness go a long way. Ou pe pa sa, an de fam yon, et pi 5 dola, bat ou sa an de yon, et pi yon dola, se jou sa la, an de yon, et pi. Kindness goes a long way. Be who God wants you to be while you and I are alive. I know you love your family members, but the enemy sometimes sidetrack us. Be who God wants you to be. You have loved, lost a loved one. It is painful. He have gone. He have left a void. But God is the one who is able to feel it. Amen? He knows how best to comfort. He knows how best to strengthen you. He knows how to reach out to you. Allow him, allow his spirit to work in your heart. Amen? With this, I want you to bow your heads with me. As I pray, Holy Father, we thank you for your grace. Oh, wonderful grace. Oh, amazing grace. That have made life possible for us. Even in this hope of life after death. Father, I pray that you will set our hearts on you, Lord. So that by your grace, our mind will be so rested in you, Jesus. That whatever we do, whatever we think, whatever we say, Father God, will be what you want us to say. Bless your people today. Comfort them, Father. Strengthen them, God. We may not know the right words to say to them, Lord, but you know. Bless them, dear God. And even now, I pray for your extra strength for the family. May you keep them together with your love, we pray. In Jesus' holy name. Amen and amen. At this moment, as we about to do the signing of the register. I like those of you who will be signing to join me in this vestry at the back. As we'll be having a special song by Alvin Masling. Those of you who will be signing, join me at the back, please. afternoon church <laughs>
God saw you in heaven I'll find my way Through night and day Cause I know you just belong There in heaven Time can bring you down, time can bend your knee. Time can break your heart, have you beg and please, beg and please. Beyond the door There's peace, I'm sure And I know There'll be no more Tears in heaven Would you know my name If I saw you in heaven Would you be the same If I saw you in heaven I must be strong And carry on Cause I know That you belong There in heaven Thank you We'll now have the vote of thanks. Okay, I'm just substituting for the for Sister Alex, the family of the late Henry Alexander, more affectionately known as Odol, would like to express their profound gratitude to everyone who supported them during the time of bereavement. We want to thank all of you for coming to celebrate the life of our father, grandfather, brother, uncle, and friend. Our family can't express how much your generosity has meant to us during this difficult time. Whether you called or visited the family, attended the funeral service, supported during his illness, 
prayed for the family and made other contributions, your efforts were well received and much appreciated and made this experience a little less difficult. Although we appreciate all of you, we want to specifically thank the Almighty Father for health and comfort he gave us during this impasse and for the time he lent Mr. Odal to us on earth. The management, and, the management of the Tiroche Miku SDA Church for consent to use the sanctuary for today's service and for their support during this difficult time. For persons who officiated during the service today, for Nurse Lydia Baptist and Nurse Joycelyn Willie, thank you so much for caring for Mr. Alexander. For Dr. We also thank Dr. Shanda Haraksen, also Dr. Elcock Cyril, Drs. Dawn, Richard, and Ewart Burt, Burt, the Executive Secretariat and members of the St. Lucia Medical and Dental Association. Also thank Ms. Sandra Knight, Mrs. Margaret Emanuel, and the caregivers. Despite his failing health in the final years, he was always kept comfortable and full of joyous moments so that he could go through his condition peacefully. This would not have been possible without the help of his caregivers, who we must say were very patient. Thank you for being present and for caring for Mr. Alexander the way that you did. Amen. We also want to thank the parents and teachers of the Children's Division of the Tiroche SDA Church. Amen. Also thanking the management and staff of Rambali's Funeral Parlor. Thank you for your respect, your kindness, and the wonderful job that you did as you worked with the family during this time. Um, we thank We Live Production. You have allowed those who, because of COVID-19, are unable to be here, to be able to participate and to be able to um, view the service here today. Brothers and sisters, we know and appreciate that there is sorrow in parting, but we are comforted that this weeping and temporary departure from here is just for a short time. We need to remain comforted by this fact. And so the family once again wants to thank you for coming and would like you to join them for refreshments immediately after the burial at Utopia Gardens in Bosha. Just remember that all COVID-19 protocols will be maintained at the cemetery and also at the repast. Thank you so much. Amen. Um, even before we do our closing prayer and recessional. I want you to please stand as we pray for that individual who is not well. I don't know the name, but I will be praying on behalf of the person. Our loving God, gracious, merciful, and long-suffering Father, the God of love, creator of the heavens and the earth, Dearest Father, we approach your throne in the name of your Holy Son, Jesus, on behalf of that child of yours, Lord, who have fallen sick right now. Dear God, I pray especially, Lord, that you will come near through the power of your Holy Spirit, through the power that is invested in your name, dear God, and may you touch the individual. There is power in you, God. There is restoration in your name, there is deliverance in your name, O oh God. There is healing in the name of Jesus. So I pray, God, that you will touch that heart. You will touch that life. You will restore, dear God. You will strengthen. You will keep and you will preserve. Because we believe, God, even as you have promised in your word, that if we ask anything according to your will, you will hear us. You have said, Lord, if we believe, if we ask and we believe and we does not doubt in our heart, yet God, you will come through for us. So I pray in the name of Jesus that you will join hearts to hearts, yet God, and faith to faith, Lord. And may you restore that individual, we pray in Jesus' holy name. Amen, amen and amen. And this moment, just um, before we 
do the last the last prayer by Elder Alsi. We'd like the pallbearers to please take the position, please. After the prayer, you will turn the casket. While the song is being sung, does Jesus care? You will allow us on the platform. You will allow us on the platform to go before you. Okay. So let us all bow our heads as we pray. Let us pray. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and give you peace. Peace in your heart, peace in your home, peace in your community, both now and forevermore. Let everyone say, Amen. As I ascended into heaven beyond the gates, angels were rejoicing. Then I saw his red face. God's eyes shone down upon me from the glory of his throne. He said, Andy, he said you'd be okay. Precious Lord. Have this last part of the service, the internment. May your spirit be with us. Please, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We will sing one hymn. My heart can sing when I remember. Until then? Yeah, until then. After we have sung, then I will read a scripture and will allow the casket to be lowered while I pray. Until then. My heart can sing when I pause to remember A hectic hair is but a stepping stone A trail that's whining always upward This troubled world is not my final home But until then, my heart will always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Amen. Amen.
For as much as God in his infinite wisdom have permitted our dear brother to fall asleep, we do tenderly commit his body to the ground, dust to dust, ashes to ashes, in the sure hope, remembering that as we do, that the issues of life are in the hands of the everlasting Father of love and compassion, and that he has promised eternal life to those who love him. Let us bow our heads as we pray, gracious Father and our God, we thank you for the grace that we have in Jesus. We thank you, O God, for this hope that we have in you. You have promised us, dear God, eternal life to all of us, dear Father, who have made our commitment with you and secure our calling with you. May you, O God, bless this place and may you guard this place, Father, and may you mark it to your name's honor and glory, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.